Hello guys and welcome back to Iron Call. My name is Nightfox and today we're going to be showing you the bank. The bank of iron. The iron bank. Uh, it's going to be a short video today. Uh, not a lot to show you apart from the building itself. Um, kind of a new build. Something that I've done on a previous server with the uh, piazza out the front or the, the square. Uh, for the most part it is a, a standard tier 1 building uh, using a lot of mortared stone. But we've incorporated uh, brick onto this building, but also framed glass. Somebody has started producing that on the server. And because of that, we're now using that on our build. We also have electricity. Finally, electricity. So you will see plenty of lights and that around, uh, giving a little bit of a, an easier maintenance side of things anyway. Um, yeah, so let's get right into it. As you've seen in both the thumbnail and the intro, um, it's self-explanatory. It is a large building. Uh, this is us on the main square now. Um, the reason this is done is bearing in mind the bank has lots of money and real estate is valuable. So why not waste some of it creating a grand piazza in front of it? Um, I do personally like it. It ends this kind of great, great access from the square. Uh, there's no single entrance as you have going into the square itself. You have all of these steps which access the whole way around. Uh, and the uh, the pillars themselves, they really do give a little bit more of a, a vertical element as well as that, that, that grandiose kind of feel to the whole thing. Um, just going to do a quick tour around it, you get an idea. It's it's not just a one-dimensional structure. Um, of course, down here, down in the dip, down in Hangman's Corner, where uh, Jordan here lives. He's got his nice little shop here. Uh, we also have an ore deposit down here. Uh, so down in the sub level is where the actual mint is uh, as well as all of the stockpiles for any of the the materials the ore itself whichever we're using to to create the the new currency for the server and so people will be uh, contracted or they can sell it to us and by doing that they pull their cart up here and they can go straight into the into the stockpile um, one thing I really like about this is this access is at the top of the stockpile and by having this wall right here it means that you don't have to basically jump in and, and fall in and all of that. It restricts you as much as you try and jump and twist and all that. You can't get past a single wall and if there was nothing in that stockpile you would still be able to access it. Uh, so that's that's absolutely fantastic. little simple detail and it really really helps out. So, we'll go quickly inside now and take a, a look around. The uh, the entrance, actually before we go in I should point out the roof. Uh, the roof itself, because of the angle, the 45 degree angle which you were only able to build roofs in, it did create a very very large space, this very large flat surface. And because of that, I tried to come up with a solution where it would rectify this problem, but also add a little bit of a flair and a little bit of a difference to the building. So um, yeah, it is something that I'm, I'm quite a big fan of and uh, it does add a lot of flavour to the building without having a very very large blank triangle plonked on top of the building out of necessity. This is also functional. Um, the function of that room up there I can show you in a short bit uh, but basically it's the admin only access room. You have to be an admin to access it. Uh, but now Going inside the building, here we are inside. You have uh, three simple desks for the, the clerks. Uh, each of those you can access. What we're buying on them is just the gold ore. The gold ore itself is something that people can supply us on the server. And the gold ore is also going to be used to make our currency, the Iron Noble. Um, yeah, uh, so we're going to just go quickly down to the mint. Uh, using lots and lots of glass. This is the glass construction as you can see we've got glass stairs, glass walls and glass pillars which is a really nice contrast with the mortared stone as you can see. It's just it adds a little bit of uh, it's just like a regal feel mixed with a modern feel and I really do personally love it. I'm a big big fan of that. Um, I think they've done a superb job doing all of the, the different glass structures on it like even the glass floor it goes through a box you can you can use that then if you're uh, working with water. I can imagine that would that be fantastic, creating kind of a moon pool idea. Um, I haven't done that yet myself personally, but uh, it is something that I, I really, really do like. I'm a big, big fan of that. 
Uh, but yeah, just coming on down here then to the uh, the mint itself. We're down now in the basement. Uh, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I'm a big, big fan of uh, building underground. Um, I think it's it's a um, it's something that's available to everybody. It does take a lot of prep work. Uh, this is a place that was actually artificially built up, so there was very little excavation needed for this site. Uh, just going to quickly remove those tags. And um, it just allows you to access the stockpiles from outside. So over here you can see this wall jutting in. That is the wall that I showed you on the outside. Uh, so that allows us to access these stockpiles which can go straight into the mints to create the currency when we come to come to uh, to making it. Um, yeah, I do have three different mints here uh, just for aesthetic purposes. One is the only one that will be creating the currency itself and it will be a standardized currency on the server. Uh, so if you do join the currency previous to this day, sorry, if you joined the server previous to this day, you would have been given a certain amount of credits. And now that we're transferring over to the currency, everybody's credits will be transferred into this currency. So however many credits you've had, you get that amount of currency. Equally, when people join the server, they will also be presented with a certain amount of currency starting off. So you don't have that difficulty at the start of a server, or sorry, that you would have starting on a server um when the server has been up and running as long as this server has uh, so it's just it's it's one more thing along with the library the seed bank and and the actual people on the server are very very helpful as well all of this is to you know help out those new people that are wanting to join in um it's just a room down here three stockpiles three mints one mint is all that we'll be working with um so that's pretty much it it's a very very simple building um, it's a functional building and it's definitely very grand as you can see coming out here now you get a lovely view of the square the workshop from one of our previous videos on one side the library on the other um, a very unusual structure in the background which will be coming up in a later video um, I've been working on that now for about 10 days it is a big big build and hopefully you will tune in to find out more about that that is that is going to be the big one that is uh, taking a lot of work a lot of prep you can see one or two little towers there on the left hand side uh, should be enough of a hint as to what it is exactly that's been built in there um, but finally yeah just to quickly pop up here then we're just going to type in fly as admins can type in you go up through your your flooring and you're inside the admin room now the admin room itself is a completely aesthetically functional room. That's all it is. It just it looks good. That's all this is up here. It it, there, it would have been completely illogical to try build a staircase up that height. As you can see, it's quite a lot high way up. Uh, but it just it fills out this vast void of a space, giving us these glass walls and that. Um, just something to to add interest to the building. Not everything has to be functional. You can have a bit of fun with things. And this is certainly something that's been for fun. It doesn't serve any purpose except to give a, a visual feeling to the building that, that normally wouldn't be there. And you can also treat this as your, your, your bank's CEO's room or whatever. You know, you have your beds for logging out and what have you. And also the couch for watching his minions below as they, they toil and try to make him money. Um, we're just going to come outside here really quickly and show you these glass uh, blocks so this is these are just walls and they've been placed in the ceiling uh, to create this this beautiful kind of effect just a, a little bit of lights so during the daytime you've got this lovely lighting effect coming in and uh, during the nighttime with the lights inside you get a lovely glow coming out uh, but yeah that's that's basically it I'm going straight back to work on the project at hand um, all I can say is the hint is in the name of the community. We are the Iron Knights, and that should be all you need to do to figure out on it. Uh, guys, don't forget I am new to YouTube. This is uh, my first season ever doing anything. If you have any tips, tricks, definitely let me know. If there's anything you'd like to see, send me a message. I'll definitely get around to it. Any questions you have, we'll do our best to answer them. Uh, most of all, don't forget to subscribe and like. Every little helps. Uh, but yeah, that's enough for plugging myself today. I hope you've liked this build. Um, it's been quite a fun one. It was fairly quick, a little bit of uh, a bit of a grind, but for the most part, it's been a fun one. And that's the name of the game. Is this is definitely supposed to be for the fun of it. 
so until next time, guys, you have a good one. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you then. Laters.